We are back, baby. We're back. The working week is done. We're out on a hike. It's Saturday. It's freezing cold. It was just pissing down with rain, but it's alright now. We're out in Northumberland, off grid. No people around. We're nice and relaxed, peaceful, great for the mind. Uh, what we're doing today? We're doing Windy Gale. Windy Gale. Now, how long has Windy Gale been on my list for? Oh. Probably like five months. Honestly, man. <laughs> like, we've been trying to do this place in Northumberland for months. But, like, something always comes up to prevent one from doing it. Oh, like, I just put it off. Like, honestly, like, the daftest of reasons. Usually it's me, like, wanting to watch the match. But the run of form Newcastle's on at the minute. We've been getting beat every weekend. Hopefully, we'll make it back for the Man City game. But probably <laughs> another good hiding there. But we'll crack on. Looking forward to getting it done. It's beautiful out here. Uh, where have we parked? Uh, Wedali car park. Um, it's about an hour forty from Newcastle. Um, yeah. Or you can, if you want to make the route a bit shorter, just keep going past Wedali. Uh, For how long would you say? Probably about a half, a half a mile, I'd say. Um, and there's like more parking there, and that's Aye. probably like the furthest you can go before you have to get out and start walking. Get it done. <laughs> so I think you were saying before it's about an eight mile circular day. Yeah. Aye, so 8 mile, Steph's got the route on her phone, uh, we're going to hopefully get it boxed off. It's quite an interesting route because it's like uh, on the border between England and Scotland. I think there's a fence maybe like halfway around the route where yeah. you can have one foot in England <laughs> and the other foot in Scotland. So. Yeah, you can hop over the border. So quite interesting, bit of fun along the way, so come with me and hopefully you enjoy the route. Uh, we, we don't have much facts around this today, so it'll be more scenery and just taking you on the route with me, but hope you enjoy. Cheers! Bye! Once you've followed the road, uh, you'll come to this little bridge and then you want to bear left and go through this gate and over the hill, somewhere over there. And then we're going to do a loop that takes for uh, anti-clockwise all the way back to the car park. So let's go through the gate and see where we end up. where the uh, incline starts so. I've had it easy up to now and also where the rain starts top tips for you uh, when you're hiking is and Steph I don't know about you but at the start of every hike like the first 10-15 minutes are always the hardest aren't they because you're like working through the gears and like how many mountains we done now loads, loads. <laughs> absolutely loads but like the first like every, every mountain it doesn't matter whether it's your first or like the 400th every mountain the first 10-15 minutes when you're working through the gears are always the hardest so number one tip uh, push through the first 10 minutes as best you can and feel free to take breaks Slow and steady wins the race uh, and hydrate when you're doing that top tip number two and this is on the back of number one don't start with all of your layers on it's a schoolboy error so if you're going up a mountain it's going to be cold on the top of the mountain don't put your down jacket on as well as your hoodies and your waterproof to start off with because that's going to make the first 10 minutes a lot harder and it's going to be a lot harder to recover from after the first 10 minutes so 
top tip number two is start with little layers add more layers as you get higher and as it gets cooler and you'll feel a lot better on the hike top tip number three step is about counting your steps uh, <laughs> um, a little trick to distract yourself i always use this when i'm really struggling um i like count my steps so like i'll just go one two three four and then like get to 100 and then start again and it just distracts you a little bit definitely i'm pretty sure paula radcliffe Used to do that when she used to run her marathons. <laughs> so yeah, the pros do it. <laughs> Paula, if you're watching this, the Geordie Hikers just give you a shout out there. <laughs> but now there's three top tips for you. And hopefully it makes like, if you're not an experienced hiker, it makes them first couple of hikes when you're getting into it a lot more easy. So try to follow them and let me know in the comments how you get on. So we're just going into the clouds now, as you can see behind me. We've just checked on the Altitude app, so that's another good app to download. If you want to know how high you are on mountains, uh, it's good for safety as well. Um, we're at 453 metres, probably got another 200 metres to go. Um, one thing that I never find on YouTube is um, how long things take um, on the videos. So we've probably been going for about 45, 50 minutes now. Yeah. At a nice pace, to be fair. But we've been stopping for a photograph now and then, uh, a little water break. And what obviously, just enjoying it. There's yeah, no just. There. And that's another thing actually about hiking. Like, watch a lot of videos, and it always seems to be a race, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, but for us, it's just about enjoying the hike, uh, being outdoors, being in nature, and we'll get a lot more from it than that. Um, but for those watching who are interested in how long it might take, um, well, we've been going 50 minutes now. We're probably, probably about three quarters of the wheel. Nearly there. I so reckon. Probably another twenty minutes. I reckon so, yeah. And then we're at the top, so probably about an hour and a half uh, to get to the top from the end of the road. Yeah, obviously, it just depends on fitness levels and how quick you want to get there. Exactly, but honestly, man, it doesn't matter how fit you are. Get outdoors. Give this a try. Look at that man behind me. Absolutely beautiful. Get out of your comfort zone. Doesn't matter if it takes you an hour and a half or 10 hours. Get your boots on, get up the hills. If you're struggling mentally, it's great for you. Physical fitness, fantastic for you. Challenge yourself and push yourself. It doesn't matter if you start off on a really small hill or if you do a Ben Nevis to start with. Who cares, man? Just get outdoors and try and push your limits. It's what it's all about. So we've come to the end of the trail now, 620 meters. There she is. She's got her right foot in England, down there, and her left foot in Scotland. So we've done the border ridge, and we're almost to the trig point. How mad's that? One foot in England, one foot in Scotland. And there's the trig point over there. Now I've got a mad fact for you. At the bottom where we started, there's a pub, uh, and it's a really famous pub. Uh, where people used to come in from Scotland over here smuggling whiskey. They'd climb over this fence and they'd go down to the pub to sell the whiskey in England and vice versa. They would smuggle whiskey from England up over here into Scotland on the went to sell whiskey in Scotland. That is mental, but there we are. I'm in England, she's in Scotland. Come and take me strong hand. <laughs> It's, it's been a pleasure, darling. All the best. Yeah. All the best. I'm staying. I'm staying real Britannia. <laughs> I'm staying in England, mate. <laughs> I'll be adopted by a <laughs> There she is. I don't know if Scotland would take it. To be fair, like. <laughs> so there she is on the Scottish side of the fence. I'm on English. Absolutely class. The most northern point of England. Fantastic. Just after you get to the fence um, of the border, it's probably about. 30-40 meters to the actual trig point 
and that sits at 620 meters high and honestly like, I've been the Cheviot countless amount of times and you never ever get nice weather here it's always minging it's always misty cloudy rainy soaking wet even in the summer man I don't know what it about <laughs> what it is about this place but I love it absolutely love it you leave here feeling fresh feeling like you've done a good day's graft so let's let's get it summered in and then head back down for some scratch I think and watch the match lives up to its name like doesn't it Just heading down Windy Gale now, we're probably about 20 minutes on the way down. We got a little bit lost, didn't we? Uh -huh. uh, Always happens with me. <laughs> but honestly, forget about that. Look at the weather now. It's absolutely stunning. Like the gods are blessed with here. Like <laughs> it was minging up the top. It was windy, raining, misty, foggy, horrible. Steph's just getting her shots in on our camera. <laughs> but look at it now, man. It's stunning. Look at them peaks, man, in the background. It's like a summer's day and it's January. Uh, absolutely brilliant end to the hike, like. Off down to the pub now, get some scran. Just ending the hike on a nice high, with the weather being so nice. We thought it was gonna be dead slippy and boggy on the way down. But even the ground's been lush which is completely unlike like the Cheviot but aye, unreal, unreal what an end to a hike, what a brilliant day it's been Nearly finished our walk now, um, nearly back at the car, probably like five minutes more to go. Um, and we're just walking past this little stream here. So beautiful, isn't it? You had a good day? Lovely day, especially with the sun coming out, like it's just it's just made it unreal. It's also made we're like proper buzzing about summer, hasn't it? Yeah. Just been talking about how much we can't wait for summer now. Just it's so warm today, like I'm absolutely boiling now. I know. We've had to de-layer and layer up a couple of times, haven't we? But yeah, we've had it all today. Had it all. We've had it all. Been. been a perfect uh, day, and we'll definitely do this one again. Oh, I like this. Has probably been one of my favourite hikes in Northumberland. Like just because, not just because the weather at the end, just because we had a bit of everything, didn't we? Like yeah. a bit of bog, a um, bit of incline, like nice on your knees coming down rather than scree. It was just a nice, lovely walk. You can you can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Yeah. Uh, highly recommend it. Make sure you come try it out, Windy Gale. If you've got any questions about the route or anything, drop them in the comments and we'll try to help you out. But cheers for coming along with us. See ya. Cheers. <laughs>